Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jack 3. In the previous episode we hunted down some kangarats on this thing and we did the tutorial and we also got two upgrades for our gun already. Just, well, two guns, pretty much. Uh, instantaneously. And we're also in a brand new city, so if this is the first episode you're watching for some reason and you missed uh, what happened, then you won't know why we're in a new city, but uh, yeah, we're here now. <laughs> uh, let's go talk to these guys. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice threads. I didn't know rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book, we've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, dark one. Hate consumes your eyes. Great, thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. It doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. <laughs> Stand back. Wasting no time in getting to this fun, fantastic mini game, are we? Huh? Huh? I knew this was in this game somewhere. I didn't realize it was this early into the game. Holy moly! What's my? What do I have to get? Seventy-five goal? Okay. Well, it's still early in the game, so hopefully I should be able to do this first try, right? 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 <laughs> This is a little bit trickier than the other one too, but because I have to press the button when it's over top of the circle, like the little dark circle. I can't just press the button like right away or I'll count as missing it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please, please, just let me do it on the first try. <laughs> oh man. They just love these, these kinds of mini games. They like to torture me. See, I accidentally pressed square. I didn't mean to press square. It just fat fingered it. And usually that happens on keyboard, but not usually on a uh, controller. I don't see really how fat fingering works in that case. Do, do, do. Uh, hey, nice, nice points. You cracked it, Jack. Don't touch it. Dark Eco. Yeah, you're impressed now, aren't you? Come on, give us preps. Those are solid eco crystals. It has been passed down through time that they power the greatest of precursor technologies. Strange. It speaks an ancient dialect. The earliest precursor forms. Something about reclaiming this unfinished world. Those look like coordinates. Like the ones from... It is picking up a very powerful signal. I don't think we're gonna like what this thing is yapping to! Even you cannot save us from this, hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me... Orange Lightning. Z -z -zing. You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. Oh, they don't like Orange Lightning. How dare they? Are you not impressed, guys? Come on. These guys should be at least be impressed by the fact that I just did that on the first try. Come on. Come on. I'm pretty sure every other time I've tried to do those kinds of games, it's failed. Now, also, that was only 75 points, so it wasn't like 200 like last time. So it's probably a good thing. I don't know if we have to do that anymore in this game, but I'm glad to get it out of the way nice and early in episode two. Uh, so yeah. And we have more of these bowling pin things, which I are arrows, I don't know, green things. I keep calling them bowling pins. We didn't really do too many in the last episode. Oh, you trade skull gems to activate them in this one, though. Okay. So maybe that's why there's like unlimited skull gems in this game compared to the last game. Now I now I know why. Ooh, let's see if we can get this uh, this orb up here because we didn't we skipped some last episode. I don't know if we can get any yet. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice and easy. 
There's a bunch, like, I think, hidden inside of different crates and, uh, uh, what are they called? Vases? All these kinds of vases, like, up here, I think there might be some hidden. There's a lot more orbs in this game, too, than the last one. Oh, there's some skull gems. Look at, look at all those, look at all the orbs! Look at them! They're everywhere! I don't even remember how to get half of these ones. I do, I think I did get them like once before, but we do need the, uh, the jet board. So we're not gonna really get that for a while because we've lost ours when we got sent out into the desert. So now we have to get a new one. I'm just picking up skull gem things for the sake of picking them up, but I don't even know if we're gonna need them other than for like these little green arrows. Should have enough to do one of these though. So let's, let's try one. Let's try one out, just to see how they're different from the other one. Heroes must show fast thinking to go with their fast movement. Beat this ring challenge for reward. Of course, just like last time, ring challenge is the first one I activate. Every time. These are a lot harder to do. Too slow for planet saving warrior. Try again. Too slow for the planet saving warrior. Am I a planet saving warrior? We're only gonna try this one more time, by the way. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna spend the entire episode trying to do it. Jeez, why is the music so loud? I've turned everything down. And it's still so loud. Oh, almost missed that one. We have to do like ring challenges, I think, later on anyway, so. Probably not a bad thing that I'm doing this now. A little bit of practice. As it's been quite a while since we did any other sort of ring challenge. Oh my goodness, how did we miss? I almost missed that. Up here? Up here? Oh, you gotta jump up there to. Oh, I didn't know you could get make that jump. Oh, man. Oh well. <laughs> It was worth a shot. Worth trying out at least once. Let's go see what Cleaver wants from us. Now I know it's Cleaver because, yeah, the fist. <laughs> oh yeah, same as the last game. We'll only cut when uh, once I've been like everywhere at least once or so. Well. If it isn't the newbies. Keep yapping, Jelly Boy. We'll see who- Bite your bum, Ratface, or I'll pound ya. Oh, great stink of the precursors. I got two words for you: Toothbrush. Nice rides. You like what you see? We use these babies to make runs into the deep desert to retrieve artifacts. Tough wheels for tough work. You said we could use one. I did, didn't I? But not one of those. Those are for the big boys. You can use that one. <laughs> what a runt! Seems to fit you. Get in, Dax. I'll drive. Can't wager a little something on a race, then. If you win, I'll let you keep that little vehicle for as long as you live. And if I win, I don't have anything. I'd say that yappy rodent of yours is a bit bony, but skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. My vehicle against him. Forget it, buddy. Jack would never done. What? Don't worry. If there's one thing I can do, it's race. Oh, sure. That's that's what they say about, uh, you know, everything. Uh, that's why they made a whole game about it, right? Racing. So this... I'm going to go around and look at all these cars right now because <laughs> why not? We're not going to get any other time to do it. Uh, we probably will later on. But anyway, this is our first car. It's very ugly and stuff. This is, I think, one of the other ones we get at some point. It's pretty cool. Sand Shark. It's cool that it says the names. Uh, Slam Dozer. I think we get this one really late in this game, so we won't be seeing him for quite a while. This one is, uh, I believe you can unlock it using orbs in this game, because the orbs on the menu for, like, the secrets is taken... Yeah, look at this. 600 orbs are in this game. The last game only had, like, 270 or something like that, or 250, and we got, like, 69 of them. This one's got so many more, and we've already got three orbs, so it's crazy. But, um, yeah, I think you can unlock all the cars in this one from that. Um, yeah. 
The more I uh, I keep playing these games, by the way, the more I'm like, I really want to play Jack X as well. And I know I said I wouldn't, but like it's, it's, it's getting me the itchy to do so. Anyway, uh, Dune Hopper. We get this one later on as part of a mission because you got to use it. You'll see what it does later. This one is, I think, another one that we get to use. Either It's probably a mission, actually, we get this one from as well. Uh, and this is another one that we get from Orbs. And same with this one. The Dust Demon is very similar to this other one over here. Pretty much just all reskins of one another, but uh, they all have guns except for this one. So let's see how well we can drive this episode, shall we? I feel like playing after I'm going to play this game, I'm going to really want to play Jack X. So <laughs> if we end up doing it, then you will know why. You'll know that this game got to me. But I feel like I'm going to have to do some really fancy editing to make that entertaining. I don't know if I will be able to make it entertaining, so yeah. <laughs> I'll try my best, though. I'm going to try my best. Okay, jump is L1. I'm glad there's a tutorial for this because I completely forgot how this worked. Press circle to skid turn. Okay. Okay. So we got a skid turn right here. It's pretty much just like a handbrake turn, which we couldn't do in the other one. At least I tried to by pressing square, but we can just, yeah, that's a nice, that's very nice. And does it want us to do like a donut here? Press that in L1. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work, but we'll try it out. Uh... Wait, okay, I'm gonna read what it says instead of just like bypassing past it. Push that to uh, the side and press L1 to jump in place. Okay, good thing I didn't, I decided to actually stay there for a second. Okay, now we head to the start of the race. Ooh, we're gonna be racing at night. Mmm, very nice, very, very nice. Let's do this. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah. Only three laps. Okay, this is where I got the three lap idea from last time. Oh, I forgot to pick up that. I forgot what the boost looked like in this game. See, in this game, I don't think it's bad to leave in the racing parts because it's like it's part of the game and it's fun. And it's not like the ga entire game is built out of just driving in circles. So, I mean, I guess like the. Jack X stuff, there's different races and things, but it's, yeah, it feels like it's going to be difficult to make it entertaining. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the story will be helpful in that sense, but I don't think it adds too much to everything. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if you want to see it. I'm still actually thinking, I'm still working on a way to get Daxter recorded. Um, that might happen still. It's... I, I think I might have an idea of how to do it, um, so I just gotta look into it a little bit more and hopefully before the end of this one, because if I get to that, then I can't remember if that game came out first or if Jack X came out first, but uh, yeah, if I can't figure out how they record that, then we probably won't do either of them and then we won't have to worry about anything and we'll just move on to the next game series, which there's so many that we're gonna do. I've been told Ori, which I'm really leaning towards because I really want to try it and play it, and it's been, it sounds like it'd be a good time. Uh, and then there is, who else is there? There's, someone mentioned Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger, which would be so much fun because that one's a nostalgia trip every time for me. Um, Sly is another one. I always seem to talk about like all the other games. <laughs> But it's only when we're doing, like, when we have nothing else going on. When, like, in this case, it's a, we're, we're driving in a circle. Well, I mean, I guess it's the first time we're driving in a circle and we're using the Doom buggy and this thing's, like, absolute poop compared to all the other racing cars that we, you could possibly get. But, uh, I don't know. If we, can, if we can do this first try, then hey. Otherwise, I'll just skip ahead um, after this race is done to me winning. But I think we can. There's only two more cars to pass. This car is so garbage, though. I, um, I think we only have to use it, like, a few times. 
like initially it's just to show you oh this is how the cars work and then later on we get to use it or use the other ones we don't have to pick this one or we get to pick like whichever one we want to use or something I don't really remember how it works it's been a little bit nice jump now I believe this is Cleaver up here driving this one which is why he wants us to beat him and we got boosts so we're using the same tactic as we did in the other game as long as I don't spin, I should be okay. Yeah, here we go. As long as I don't spin the car, we'll be fine. Now we'll use the boost here, go through here. Use our second boost. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's tricky. I don't want to use the boost right now because going over these bumps and boosting will be a bad. Enjoy it for now, Skimmer. I said you could keep the vehicle for as long as you live. Well, we'll see how long that is, mates. Mates. <laughs> see, is that an Australian accent that he has? Is that why he sounds so gruff? I'm so glad we won. Um, that noise was really annoying when we did win because you could just hear the motor and just go. <gasps> we can drive in first person. What the heck? How sick is that? Uh, so yeah, anyway, these, uh, where are they? Those things all like to try and kill us in the desert, so we'll be seeing many more of them in the future. For now though, let's head back here. Nice wheel work. My advisor here says you have vehicle skills. I can hold my own. This one will be of use to us, Demos. I think you should keep him for now. Can it, Pecker? There are a number of artifacts to be found in the wasteland. Fresh storms churn the sand and reveal items that have been buried for centuries. Take the vehicle and find as many items as you can before the storms come again. And one more thing. If you get caught in the storms, they will tear the flesh from your very bones. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. Is <laughs> so, so nice. I'm going to leave this episode or uh, mission thing for the next episode. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Jack 3. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another great episode. Woo, more driving. A <laughs> uh, little taste of Jack X before we get in there. Uh, if we go into that game. Anyway, yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. <laughs>